Hello my lovely and handsome people. Today we are going to make some wonton soup. Wonton soup is a family favorite in my household. My mom used to buy it all the time and when I got older I learned how to make it myself because I am or should I say was addicted to the stuff. I probably still would be if I wasn't on Metafast honestly. Um, I passed the addiction down to my family and it's really not that bad. It's not uh, really that high in fat. It's just you know it's just the bomb, honestly. I, I can't even find a word. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my water chestnuts. That's what I'm doing now. And I'm just chopping it up. And we want to make sure that it's chopped up really finely. Once you have it chopped up, go ahead and set it aside. And we're going to work on our next step. Let's get some lean ground pork. I cannot emphasize enough to make sure it is lean. Because if you have regular ground pork, your soup's going to come out very oily and you don't want an oily soup. Let's go ahead and take those water chestnuts that we chopped up at the beginning of this video. And we're going to add that with our ground pork. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my spices. Your spices can be found at your grocery store or you can just go ahead and go to the Dollar Tree like I did nothing is wrong with using Dollar Tree spices so the first thing I'm going to add will be my ground ginger this is a must-have for my recipe do not skip out on the ground ginger the next thing we're going to add will be onion powder and you'll find that I'm not adding any salt to our meat because for one, it's ground pork. And ground pork does not need salt. And two, our wonton base already has salt in it. But we'll get to the wonton base in a couple of minutes. Next, we're going to go ahead and add some garlic powder. Okay, and we're almost done adding all of our spices. One more spice to go. And that is our black pepper, just regular ground black pepper. And you just want a little bit of that. You don't need too much. And that's all we have to add for our filling. So go ahead, dig in, and let's mix that all up. Make sure you get everything mixed, though. You don't want your ginger to be on the bottom and your water chestnuts to be to the left just go ahead and mix everything thoroughly this is where it gets tricky we're gonna go ahead and wrap our wonton so that's the wonton wrapper and I dip my finger in egg white to help it stick not everybody does this step but it works great for me not everybody wraps their wontons the uh, same way either but like I said this is what works for me so maybe it can work for you too I like to pinch it really tight because at the beginning, when I started off making wonton, um, my wonton was falling apart when it started to cook, and we don't want that. So I make sure that I get it nicely sealed. <laughs> so that's me dipping my finger in the egg white again. Go ahead and fold it. We're going to pinch it. Make sure you get those corners. Another fold. And another and pinch simple as that so when you're done wrapping all those wontons it's time to put them in the pot so that pot has water of course and some wonton base if you cannot find a wonton base at your local grocery store once again go to an Asian market if you do not live near an Asian market that has wonton base you can use chicken broth that will work just as fine. So I'm just making sure that I get all my wonton in there because I made a lot. I made enough to last my husband a couple of days because like I said, he eats the crap out of wonton soup. And it's funny because he didn't even know what it was five years ago. So with your wonton, what you can do, you might have noticed in the picture at the beginning of the video, you can add vegetables to your broth. I like adding celery, onion, you know, green onion to mine. You don't have to, though. And go ahead and stir it. And you're going to let that cook on medium for about 45 minutes. 
If it starts to boil over, turn the heat down. And that is your finished look. Once again, this picture is with celery and onion in the broth. That is not a necessary step. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out my blog for more delicious recipes. And I will see you all later. Bye.